Yes, yes, how's it going guys? Hope you're well and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a very, very special episode for you guys. I'm going to take you behind the screen and I want to go over how I can really give you actionable advice that will save a lot of money in your business, in your supply chain today. I want to go over the things that I wish I knew when I first started in order to save money in my supply chain. And I'm going to give a bunch of different tips, hacks, strategies, secrets, whatever you want to call it. And these things are going to save you 1%, 3%, 5%, even one which saves you as much as 15%, which I'm going to show you for a live screen share as well. But the purpose of this video is to go over the big mistakes that people are making when it comes to paying their suppliers, how you can avoid them, and how you can save money. And I'm also going to show you a real life example on a screen share of how I pay my suppliers. And these are lessons that I've accrued over the last like 14, 15 years of working with overseas suppliers and I've written them down in a sequence with all the little tips and tricks that you can apply to your business today in this Google Doc and this Google Doc will be available for you in the link in the description down below. So make sure you click the description in the video, save this form and whenever it comes to paying your suppliers, this video will be a constant reminder of what to do with step-by-step -step guidance. Now, with that being said, let's jump into it. A really big way that um, you can really achieve big results in your business and move it forward and get a lot of fast growth is by getting credit terms with your supplier. And all the big businesses, all the big brands are doing this, all the big retail stores are doing this. And you can do this as soon as your second or third order with your supplier. And these are some of the things that work for, working with a lot of different e-commerce brands, I've seen some achieve and then go on and scale and have massive results and some which haven't done it and have always been stuck in that position and have not been able to grow and scale. So credit terms is essentially paying your suppliers for your goods after you receive them. Now the standard payment terms as we all know is 30% deposit and then 70% balance payment when the goods ship. But if you could delay that 70% as much as possible, if you could delay that 70% payment 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, imagine getting paid by your customers before you have to pay your suppliers. So you never actually pay for your stock. And then that cash flow can be better invested into other things like growing your team and sales and marketing and things like that. So some of the fundamentals I want to go over is that you can never request payment terms from day one, unless you're a very big brand like Nike and you find a new supplier and you're like, hey, we're Nike, we want payment terms, cool. But as just a regular e-commerce brand, you always wanna get your first order out of the way done and then you want a history of your orders growing and scaling. So for example, um, your first order is for 500 units MOQ, then two months later, you sell pretty well, you place your next order, it's for a thousand units, and then that goes really well. Three months later, you place another order, it's 3,000 units. That's showing the supplier. First order was 300 units, then it was a thousand units, now it's 3,000 units. So the orders are regular and they're growing. So now when I ask for payment terms, the supplier is helping you grow. They can see that your business is growing, right? So you're in a much better position to ask for it. But if your first order was 500 units and then a year later you place another order for 400 units, you're not really incentivizing the supplier to help you out with payment terms. So only request the payment terms after a few orders and after your orders are growing. The next thing you can do really well is pay your supplier on time. So the supplier should never have to chase you for a payment, whether it be your 30% deposit or your 70% balance payment. When it comes to you asking for payment terms, the supplier is going to think about it and be like, you know what, every time we've sent a payment uh, to be made, they always pay it on time, we've never had to chase them. But if they have to chase you for like two weeks just to get the payment and then you ask for credit terms, you're not necessarily, you haven't proven to them that you're good with payments, so you're unlikely to get it. So always pay your suppliers on time as well. That will build up a lot of goodwill with them. And as I said, build up to it. It depends on where you are in your journey and your brand size. But when you feel like you're in a position to ask for payment terms because your orders are growing and scaling, that is the best time to ask for payment terms. And if they say no, that's also okay, but at least they know that's something that you want. So they know in future you're gonna come around to it and ask for it again. Now, the standard payment terms, as we discussed, are 30% deposit, 70% down but you're never gonna go from this straight to 90 days credit, right? So you could ask for it bit by bit and say, right, I'm gonna just pay a 15% deposit and I'll pay 85% when the goods are ready to ship or I'll pay 30% deposit, but I'll pay 70% after 15 days or after two weeks. 
and then they might accept that and then as orders grow in scale and now you might ask for two months on that 70 percent and then you might pay no deposit and pay 100 percent after 60 days 45 days so you can always just it's all negotiable you can take it step by step but the key thing is describing this as a win-win with your supplier that what's good for me is good for you so for example the more i sell of my product the more you're going to receive in orders so if you can grant me these payment terms i'm going to invest more in influencers kols marketing campaigns and that's going to result in more more sales and then more sales for me is going to be more orders for you so this is a win-win it's not just like hey I, I want more time to pay you back it's i i need credit terms so i can grow and scale the business faster so you can also benefit from those orders so always describe it as a win-win and working in partnership with your supplier now, the other thing with paying your suppliers is it is very, very important you don't run into cash flow problems as it can be a killer for your growth, right? So we just discussed how to get credit terms set up. It's also very important to have a very good relationship with your supplier, and that is going over to see them, having regular Zoom calls, sending a gift, wishing them a happy Chinese New Year, things like that. And the better friends you are, the better relationship that you have, the more likely are they are to extend you cash flow uh, credit terms and that's going to really really help you grow and scale your business is the relationship with the supplier i mean consider asking a favor from a supplier that you've only sent a few messages to on alibaba versus on one that you've gone out for dinner with and met several times and they've come to visit you at trade shows in in europe and you've gone to visit them uh, at a canton fair in china it makes a big big difference then the other thing as well is that you should always think about how you can get access to financing before you need it. You don't want to be in a position where you get a really, really big order that's going to help you scale to the next place you need to get to in your business, but you now have to go looking for the financing. But if you maybe have potential investors or companies which will grant you financing, you don't have to take it, but you know what the rates will be and how much you can get and how available it is before you actually need it. Now consider where your growth is coming from and what cash flow requirements that will have on your business. So for example, you might get an order from a retailer, whether it be a Target, Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, the exporting goods, and with these guys, they require credit terms from you. So you're gonna supply a product to them and they're gonna ask to pay you after 90 days. So if you place a deposit to your supplier, 30%, it takes them 60 days to do the production, and in another 30 days to receive it, 90 days, and then you give it to your customer, the retailer, and then they take 90 days to pay you. From when you made that first payment to the supplier to then when you got paid by your customer, it's six months. And that's the thing that a lot of people don't notice, and that can be a killer um, for your business. So if you know you're supplying a retailer, you can say to the supplier, hey, I've got this order for 50,000 units from Walmart or Target, but they're asking for credit terms for me, therefore for you to get the order as a supplier, I also need credit terms for you. So knowing where your growth is coming from, then you can figure out your cash flow requirements so that you don't get stuck and have issues later on. Now, where and how you pay your suppliers is very important as well, right? So a lot of people start off with Alibaba, they select a trade assurance, and if you're a beginner, maybe you want to do that for your first order to make sure you have a little bit of protection. But as you grow on scale, you're gonna to need to have other payment options available. Some people use a letter of credit from their bank if trust is an issue. And then what I would really recommend and what I'm gonna go over in this video is you want an all-in-one digital solution and platform to handle your incoming and outgoing payments with security, which can be viewed by team members as well. And you also want to keep fees at an absolute minimum as well. So saving money on your payments is so important because Transaction charges can be a killer. You're gonna have currency fees, you're gonna have foreign currency rates, and these can be very damaging too. And I know these can sound like quite small, but actually they really, really build up. And based on the number of transactions that you do, and also the value of your payments, these really, really build up and these can destroy a business. So I'm gonna show you in a live screen share how I avoid these as well. Payment security as well. One bad payment, one payment to a fraudulent supplier. Um, can really crush your business, okay? So payment security is very, very important. You want to use a platform which can help identify fraudulent accounts and do checks for you. And sometimes you get an email from a supplier to say, hey, we've updated our bank details. This is a new bank account to pay into. And in my 14 years of you know paying foreign suppliers, I've had two, maybe three situations where the supplier's email account has been hacked. 
and then it's been a scammer which has emailed me on the supplier's behalf from their hacked account and they said please pay into our new bank account details now every single time i've avoided it because whenever i get an email from someone saying hey pay into our new bank account what i do is i get onto a video call uh, via wechat with the supplier to say hey did you update your bank account details did you want these bank accounts in this new account and they would always say no and i say well check out this email and they find out their um bank uh, their email account has been hacked so whenever you see a change in bank account details you always want to verify that with a video call as well you know the some of the purchase orders you you could make ten thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars if that goes into the wrong bank account you're not getting that back that's very damaging for your business so payment security is a massive aspect of it as well and here's one where we can save a lot of money, right? Is on exchange rates. Monitoring the exchange rates in order to get discounts on your cost of goods, right? And always review the exchange rate at the time of paying your suppliers to see if the supplier benefits more and how to negotiate that as a discount. So let me give you a very, very quick example, right? Uh, a lot of people pay their suppliers uh, in dollars, which then is converted into Chinese yuan or RMB, right? So this is why it's very, very important to track, right? Let's go back to April 9th of 2022. $1 is 6.3 RMB. Now, okay, nothing unusual there. You pay your supplier $10,000 deposit, $50,000 purchase order, no problem. Now, if we fast forward to October 29, which is six months later, April and October, which is the same time as the, the Canton Fair, the rate is now $1 is 7.25 RMB, right? So we go from 6.3 to almost 7.3, right? That's a difference of over 15%, right? And why that's important is if I pay my supplier, let's say $100,000 in April, and I also pay them $100,000 for another purchase order in October, six months apart, when that when the supplier converts the dollars that they receive, they're receiving $100,000 on this date, but they're receiving $115,000 on this date. So normally you would just pay the supplier the price, no problem, and that's it, job done. But if you screenshot and show a graph like this and say, hey, based on the exchange rate, you've made an extra 15% on my on my payments. Now, in order to support our business, I'm going to need a discount, and you can ask for 15%. You might not get it. You might agree on 10%. Uh, I need a discount of 10% on my cost of goods because you've made over 15% on the exchange rate in the last two payments that I've made to you. And when I show these graphs to suppliers, normally I get a significant discount based on the change in the exchange rate. But also think about it, if it was from the other perspective, if the rate was 7.3 and then it drops down to 6.3, the supplier will be the first one to email you and message you and say, hey, your prices have gone up because the exchange rate has fluctuated. So it's very, very important that you monitor this and you can save that 15% just by monitoring the exchange rates alone. So. It's very, very important that everything is managed in one central location, that multiple people in your business can access for different levels of control as well. Now, that depends on the size of your business. If you have multiple employees, you don't want to be doing every single payment yourself. You can get other people to set that up and manage that for you. Now, I manage my cross-border payments with a company called World First, and I've been using them for over 10 years. And I want to log in real quick to show you how I use the platform and all these things that we've just discussed, which is very, very important for you guys to apply in your supply chain as well how I do it online using their portal and how I'm going to use world first in order to get cost savings speed and efficiency security and reliability flexibility and convenience and enhanced supplier relations so let's jump into the portal and I'm going to show you what I do there as well hey guys I hope you're enjoying the video so far I just want your attention for 30 seconds to help take your supply chain to the next level now in all my times of sourcing products for different brands retailers and licenses I've noticed that there's three big mistakes which a lot of them are making which is costing them TMQ it's costing them time it's costing them money and it's costing them quality in their products and in their supply chain as a way to help fix that I've put together a quick 60 second quiz which is available in the link in the description down below and this will help identify any potential mistakes that you could be making and how to avoid them as well. So click the link, take the quiz down below, and I'll see you guys at the next level. Hey guys, so before we jump into the next part of the video about how we can achieve cost savings through World First, my dog has got a massive favor to ask of you guys. She's just gonna ask if you can subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. It helps the channel more than you know, and my dog right here would greatly appreciate it. 
Thank you so much. And now let's get back to the rest of the video. All right, so here you can see inside my World First portal, I've got multiple different ac currency accounts, euros, uh, pounds sterling and also US dollars. I'm going to blur out a few things because some things are quite confidential, some are not and I'll be transparent with you. But this is basically what inside the portal looks like. Uh, world First were also a sponsor of the Euro 2024 football. If anyone watched that you would have saw the World First banners uh, across the pitch. Now as I said, but as a cost savings, right? So we talked about the importance of exchange rates and competitive exchange rates that save you money on international transactions, right? They also have lower fees, so whether it's account opening or currency exchange and annual account management. And just to give you a couple of examples, you can see here for for pound sterling, uh, pound sterling for local payments, that's 30 pence, but anything greater or equal to $5,000, that payment fee is waived. Same with cross-border payments, it's four pounds, but then anything over $5,000 is waived as well. So if we go to all currencies here, and we want to check out the exchange rates, what we just looked at before, we can select US dollar, uh, one US dollar, and then we were looking at the RMB. So look at the Chinese currency. So one US dollar is 7.25 RMB. But look at this, you've got two different lines here, right? One is the rate that you're getting as a preferred world first customer, and the other one is the market exchange rate. So you can see that you're getting more based on the world first rate. And then here, you can also see here that you, I, I have an exclusive exchange rate. It depends on the level of your account. You can obviously inquire about this and find out more information. But you can see here that it says here that this is your exchange rate and exclusive rate provided by World First. Now, the value of the payments that we make to the suppliers are so big that just having a difference in 1%, 2% when the exchange rate here and there makes such a big difference when it comes to your cost of goods. So. Again, when it comes to making payments, you want to check at what rate um, you're getting, right? So you can see here right now it's 7.2489, and you can see over the last seven days or 30 days what was the average rate, what's been the fluctuation. So in the last 30 days, the rate has been as high as 7.3, and it's been as low as 7.2. So 7.245, 7.25 is in around about the middle. So I'm like, okay, great, that's that's a decent exchange rate, but. If the rate was around like 7.2, I might want to wait a little bit. So you have good data here to make decisions on when to pay your suppliers. So number two is speed and efficiency, right? So it ensures that suppliers re receive their payments promptly. They get an instant email, and if the supplier has a world first account, then their payments are almost instant. And just to show you what that looks like on the inside, is that here are some payments that were made just from the 19th of July. Multiple payments were made on this day, one for $10,000, $27,000, $89,000, $25,000. Now, here's the information that you can get on each payment, right? You can click directly into this one. And just to show you how low the payment fees are, if we go to view details, we can see here that um, 89620 was paid, but then the supplier received 615 so it's a five dollar charge for making this payment you can see here that the fee is of five dollar seventeen now other companies i don't want to name any names but they can charge as much as 25 dollars for these types of payment uh, if you look at whether it be paypal or alibaba just look at the exchange rate which they're giving you and then the fee which they're charging as well whereas here you're having a an amazing exchange rate and a much lower fee as well and this is the stuff that all adds up in your business as well you can give the supplier an instant notification they receive an instant email you can also download a pdf copy of the payment send that to the supplier and what that really does is just build up a lot of trust to what we we're talking about in terms of getting the payment terms if we go back um our payments our online payments are really streamlined uh, easy management it's all also really easy to search. We can go back to any payment. We can type in a supplier's name, see all the payments that have been made. Um, when we book exchange rates, we can see like what was the exchange rate that we paid at what time, so we can always track that. Um, we can also have automated payment scheduling, and a really, really cool thing as well is that World First can also receive payments from your Amazon store, Shopify store, and then the beauty thing, the beauty about that is that as you're receiving your uh, payments from multiple different stores, it comes into one account and with the same account, it then goes out. Whereas if you have multiple accounts, then that's where you get hit every time the money changes hands is when fees are added on as well. So that's why you want to keep it as centralized as possible in one digital platform. 
So the other things with security and reliability is that they have compliance with international financial regulations for safe transactions as well. And there's reliable customer support. It depends on what tier of account that you have. Obviously, I've been using World First for a long time, so I've got very, very good customer relations. Um, but you do have customer support, which does help resolve any payment issues should they occur. So then flexibility and convenience is very important as well. So they have multi-currency accounts, so you can do payments in 95 different currencies. And I'm gonna show you real quick. The cool thing about this is you can always track the rate of which it's been used as well. So this is when we've just done foreign currency transactions, and this has been in pounds, US dollars, euros. So what if you take a large transaction, for example, this one, $109,000, you can go to view details, and then you can see the rate at which you received. Uh, one, one pound was $1.29. Uh, there was no payment fee here, which is fantastic. And then you can also track the rate as well. So you can go back to your history of transactions and see, okay, well, here it was 1.29652. Here it was 1.29053. So you can go back to the history and ch check based on the months of what was the rate that you were getting. So you always have full visibility and transparency of the payments gone out, payments received uh, based on the exchange rate. And then integration with existing financial systems and ERP platforms, that's really, really important as well. As I mentioned, whether it be like Shopify, Rakuten, whatever, all those payments can be received in-house and then go to uh, your suppliers. So integration with existing financial systems and ERP platforms as well, depending on what your business needs are. There are multiple different systems and platforms that can sync with your World First account as well. And then there, depending on your region, there will be mobile apps for managing payments on the go as well. Now, we talked about the importance of supplier relationships as well, right? So, as I mentioned, the better relationships builds up more trust, the better credit terms that you get, the better cash flow that unlocks your business. So, using a platform like this with full transparency, where payments are, are they're notified of payments immediately, you can log everything, you can go back and see the history, you can save a PDF, you can send it to them immediately. If they have a world first account, you have almost instant payments. So you have improved trust and reliability with suppliers because of the timely payments and transparency. And then you can also leverage the um, exchange rates to see that you're making, they're making sure you're getting the best price, that you can get better discounts. You can also negotiate better payment terms with suppliers by leveraging these efficient payment processes as well. And then you also have an enhanced reputation as a reliable and a professional partner in their supply chain. And like I said, almost instant payments, which suppliers will really enjoy too. Now, if you found this valuable, this link, this document is available for you to download. And if you are interested to sign up for a World First account, they do have a sign up bonus where you'll receive 200 pounds, basically, and 200 pounds, 200 dollars, 200 euros, based on, on where you are. I'm actually based right now in the UK. But this campaign period is from the 1st of August to the 14th of October. And if you are watching this video after the 14th of October, then if you click the link below, you'll still receive a sign up bonus, but it might be different to what this is. So once you've done two supplier payments, you will earn $200, 200 euros, 200 pounds. And the link is here for you to click as well. If you have any questions on this process, um, I've made this document for you so you can go back and remind yourself I'm gonna uncheck all these things for you as well. So you're gonna learn how to get payment terms with your supplier, how not to get cash flow issues, where and how to pay your suppliers, payment security, exchange rates, the importance of them, and all these things you can see how we've been able to save, you know, 1% there, 2% there, 3% there, build better relationships, get better credit terms, um, unlock more cash flow in your business, and then also utilize the exchange rates as well to save much more as well. And then I just want to show you inside and be transparent of who I use and the benefits of using them and how to leverage World First to have cost savings, speed and efficiency, security and reliability, flexibility and convenience, and then enhanced supplier relations. So check out the link. If you have any questions about this, about payment terms, uh, about paying your suppliers, just let me know in the comments below and I'll engage with you guys there. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys on the next video.